I am exactly surprised. the kind of product that I would hate. Yeah. And yet, and yet you love they it. Did a good job. Wow. All right, TikTok and Instagram, you've done it again. You've convinced me to buy some things that I, I probably don't need, but maybe I do. So if you've ever been curious about the products that you see on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and you're as curious as I am if they actually work or not, then you know, stick around, subscribe. New videos here every single Saturday. We'll see you next week as well. And we're gonna start off with a product and this is what I saw and it looked incredible. I could not believe how fast that thing just like whoop, just mashed potatoes. So then I tracked it down and I bought it. It's the Joseph Joseph, Joseph Squared, and this is a potato ricer. I don't know if you've ever tried a device like this to mash your potatoes. I know that th there's so many different potato mashing devices. It's wild. And why do I have all of them? So I have this guy. Don't love it because the potato just gets stuck in these little grills. It's awful. Next one, this guy. He works pretty good. You, like you get a good, amount of mashing, it's fine. Then, this is Christopher's favorite. This guy, this is by OXO, because we love, we love you OXO. OXO, you're our favorite. <laughs> this thing is a potato, I guess it's a potato ricer, and it goes like this and it goes <laughs> You just like get through all the mashed potatoes and it makes it nice and small and just so creamy, it's ridiculous. And now to add to our collection of mashing potato devices, we have this guy. Let's try it. Now, first of all, I will say is that these holes right here, these are a lot larger than the OXO ones. However, maybe that's better because, yeah, I mean, you can, you can even see on this, there's still potato on that. Oh, that's disgusting, that's on me. So, I mean, obviously we need to be trying this by mashing some potatoes, to which I have a bowl and into it, I'm going to put in some cream because cream and mashed potatoes are just, it's important. Warmed cream. And to that, we have the patats. Potato. So normally what I would do, this is what I would normally do, is I would just dump the cream, butter, salt, pepper, whatever, into this pot and mash it and it would be exhausting. And is that speaking more to my lack of physical endurance? Yeah, probably. Is this gonna be easier? Probably not, but maybe it makes creamier mash. I don't know. So I have them in cubes. One, two, three, four, five. I just want to see how many I can stick in here. Six, seven, eight. Can I do nine? Slide it in like that. She said confidently. And then I mashed it up good. Did I get it all? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, so I'm not gonna touch that. And I'm gonna do the OXO one on the other side just to compare. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, this can fit a lot more, I think. Twelve, thirteen pieces of potato. There we go. So before we continue on and you know continue to mash these, let's examine them, shall we? We have Joseph Joseph, Joseph Squared, and we have OXO over here. So in terms of amount, capacity, OXO is the winner here. In terms of size of mashed strand, OXO also wins. Yeah, that's not even close. It's not even close. Now, ease of use. I honestly, I think that the OXO one was actually easier. I was expect, truthfully, I was expecting this to be a lot easier than mashing down on it, but it's not. This holds less and doesn't give you as fine of a ricing of the potato. And if you're new to ricing potatoes and you're like, why, why would you do that? It makes the potato mashing experience so much better. The level of creaminess that comes to this potato, next level. If you want a creamy mash, get OXO. I will link it down below because it's genuinely one of our favorites. I'm gonna do it one more time, one more time just to be sure, you know? I did only try it once. That doesn't feel like a fair shake. It's softer, sure, but you can still feel little bits, like tiny little bits of potato, whereas this is a lot smoother. Um, so yeah, I would reco the, the OXO one over the Joseph one for sure. Now I gotta finish these potatoes. And while I finish these potatoes, actually this is a great opportunity because I tested a product and I wanna be very clear that I tested this product thinking it was on my other channel. Didn't even think twice about it. And then I was looking at my list and I noticed that the product was actually for this video. And I was like, oh, whoops. So I'm gonna show you that product. And then we were going to attempt a retest here. It's by Playtronica, I think it's called, or Soundbrenner, I don't know. Anyway, it's this thing 
Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Basically, you can connect the device in here to any object and it's gonna make a sound and a vibration and it's gonna change depending on how you like touch it or move it or whatever. So apparently it's like a fun way to, you know, play around with music and sounds and tones and stuff. But like when I opened it, this is what I was met with, which is just like, ah, electrical octopus, ta-da. What I love about this is that they gave zero instructions. Oh, apparently there are no rules, only creativity is what they say. And it's for kids. <laughs> I would love to see that. What am I doing here? I take a cord. Where am I attaching this? I guess you just attach it to these little, um, these little guys that. So I just want to see what would happen if I touch this here. Now what? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Is this going to make a sound? Let's attach here. I mean, this is what it looks like on the website. Oh, what? I'm supposed to wait. I am so confused. Oh my goodness. The amount of time that I have dedicated to trying to figure this out. In no world is this just like, I'll just connect it. It's fine. I just go on the website. There's like different like apps and stuff you have to use. And also then you have to learn about physics and grounding stuff. So I have a lime here. So for, <laughs> there's so much that goes into this. So I have this, this little guy right here. He's connected to my ring, which is connected to my hand to ground it. Then I have a lime and a clip. So when I put it, I don't know if you can hear that. So when I touch it, it makes that sound. I don't know if you can hear that, hold on. Really annoying sound, this one? Yeah, put it down. That's what a lime sounds like. Let's try a different one. Let's try, <sighs> what about these? Are these metal? I don't know. So exciting. Wow, I don't know how this works. This is so above my head. Okay, so you're caught up. Christopher, touch one of the fruits. Seems like a trap. No, bop it. Bop it. Oh, interesting. This one doesn't work as well. I don't know why. Maybe over here. No, wait, where's your ring? Uh, attach it. Okay, now try. No. <laughs> yeah, I got one. Now make music, Christopher. So this is like a high-tech potato claw. <laughs> it's 100% what it is. Hates apple. Now hold on, what if, where, where, is, the, where is the thing? Okay, so that's the sound it makes. And that's attached to this one. Mm -hmm. What if I move it? So where it is on the thing also indicates what sound it's gonna make. Correspond to some keys, I guess. That sounds more mango-y to me. <laughs> is this like lemon is fast? Lemon is fast and that's not the right sound for a lemon. <laughs> that feels banana. Come on, just... somebody's gotta agree with me. I don't understand. Okay, so this go over there. Right. Because now I have treats. This is a TikTok account that I had followed for a long time. It's dessert. Dessert Co. D S R T. Dessert. And they are well known for these, like, um, their dessert bars, which are filled with all sorts of, like, fun, gooey things. And then they, like, open them up on camera and it's, like, very satisfying. I bought everything I could. There's, like, a whole bunch of different options and I figured we could try them. They, they are heavy. Yeah, that's a lot of. That's a lot chocolate. of, lot of chocolate. Oh, and then this one, because they have a couple of them that are gluten and vegan and all these different things. And Lo loves cookies and cream. And I think also B, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. So I'm gonna give them this one, which is like a cookies and cream bar and it's gluten-free. So I won't open that one. Obviously I need to like squish one open. So this one, this is the um, Belgian milk chocolate, milk chocolate ganache, house caramel and shortbread biscuit. And I also am very excited about this cotton candy bar. Yeah, but that's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. Do so you want me to just bite into the end of this, right? Do you even dare, dare. Okay, hold on. I can't do it as, as well as they do because they have like all this like, it just looks really good. And I've never done this before, okay? I like squish it like that and then. Ooh, ah. Yeah, I feel like. My life has been made now. I love a Twix bar, to be honest. I, I haven't had one in a long time. I can't eat them, so. No? 
No. Now granted, I should be very clear. They make stuff that has peanuts in it. None of this stuff has nuts in it, but just for all my peanut allergy people out there. So there's this one, and then there's this guy right here. Which one are you gonna try first? You can tell me. Um, you should try that one first. Right. They use fancy chocolate. It's a small business and they've been selling out constantly online. So I actually ended up being nearby and I bought it from their store, which is so cute. It's a really good Twix bar. Is it? Yep, let's try it. There's more shortbread to it than a mm -hmm. normal Twix. It's very tasty. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good shortbread too. That's not like stale, you no, know? No, 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 oh, really nice. Mm. Okay, I just really like the ratio of that. The only thing it doesn't have that a Twix would have is that kind of snap, which I think is because the um, shortbread is thicker mm -hmm. and, and a bit um, softer, mm -hmm. which I like. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I want to try this one. This one isn't like it's not filled, so. Satisfying. That was really good. You hear that? Oh, that's so good. Okay, so this one has all sorts of like cotton candy stuff in it. Freeze dried ice cream, waffle cone, white chocolate. I'm curious about the freeze dried ice cream. It's very good white chocolate. I get bits of the cone. I'm not tasting as much of the cotton candy, but it's very good. That's a really good chocolate bar. Now, do we do this guy next? Look how pretty that is. If you compare it to that. Break that. I don't want to. Look how beautiful that is. This is a work of art. Anyone, anyone on TikTok? So there's this one or it's this one. Which one am I gonna open first? You have to save that one for last. Fair. That's so reasonable. This is the Lucky Charms one, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was such a good snap. So these are freeze-dried marshmallows. Did they freeze dry the marshmallows from a Lucky Charms cereal box or are Lucky Charms marshmallows freeze-dried? Because this says freeze-dried marshmallows. I'm pretty sure they're freeze-dried. Like in the box? Yeah, because right. they're not, um, they're not soft. No. I like it. This has Lucky Charm under notes. I like the bits of cereal in it, truthfully. It's the right level of crunch. And then you've got to hit the marshmallow. Oh, I See, love to me, it. I'm just getting white chocolate. I got the cotton candy with the first one. Interesting. Not really getting much other mm -hmm. than white chocolate. It's delicious. Like you said, very good quality white chocolate. Mm. Really tasty. I get the Lucky Charms in this one. It is very obviously, it's a chocolate bar. Like it's very yeah. white chocolate dominant for mm. sure, but so good. I love white chocolate. Really good quality. It's very tasty. So good. Okay. Now this beauty, which I hate to break, but you know. For science. For science. Oh wait, let's say, what is this bar? Caramel crunch. Caramel. Caramel mm. crunch. Milk chocolate, caramel crunch, chocolate filling, and caramel. So much caramel. You I flipped mid-sentence there, by the way. What'd I say? You said caramel crunch, chocolate filling, and then caramel. Because it felt weird to say caramel crunch. My brain just spoke it. I kind of get it. It's just the same word. Inconsistency <laughs> is it. my my thing. Okay. Ooh, ah. Uh. Oh, wait, too early. Ooh, ah. Uh. <sighs> ruined the crunch sound, and I will never forgive him for that, so I'm very sorry. There you go. I have half a mind not to give you any of this. I'm doing good Foley work. Christopher. Hey, that looks D-A-licious. Gooey. Sometimes my camera like decides to not focus and I'm like, guys, look how great that is. And all you can see is blur. So I'm very sorry. I hope you can see that because it looks phenomenal. That is awesome. Whatever that chocolate crunch is, it's perfect. It's That's in there. really good. Mm -hmm. If you like caramel or, or caramel, caramel, this is really good. The crunch just adds something. Yeah, it's so huge. So nice. I really like the the Lucky Charms one. Honestly, I think I really like this one with the shortbread in it. I really good too. That's I, really uh, good. There can't be a number one that isn't the caramel crunch one though. I mean, opinions on, I may to... vary, but <laughs> you, you gotta pick the correct one with your opinion. That is so well executed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So another thing that they do when you're in the store, you saw it. You were there with me. They do what they call these like garbage cakes. They're really popular in store. They don't sell it online. They have these cakes. They look like this and they change the flavors every week. So they usually have oh. two different flavors. I saw it on their, <laughs> I saw it on their TikTok that this was um, one of the flavors and the other one was I think like a vanilla cake with lemon and blueberry. I, I don't know how I missed that one. That would have been really good too. I just saw this one and then immediately was like, yeah, no, we have to buy that. Well, we haven't had enough chocolate here, so let's no. give it a try. Look at that. That's just fun. fun. Yeah, fun layer cake kind of thing. Yeah. So this I think has the shortbread. I think it's very um, similar, I think, to this this bar. It's a really good icing. Oh, yeah, dang. Like yeah. 
I think I like the bars better, but mm. that's that's tasty too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot going on there. And good use of presumably off cuts and what by yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Smart. That's really good. They're all very, very good. The, the quality of chocolate's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Um they are in Hamilton, Ontario. If you ever her chance to be by there. Their store is really cute. And I think they've been upping their online orders and stuff too. Okay. So, I mean, so much to choose from, but I'm really excited oh, that I finally got to try them. Product. Yeah, it's so good. Next up, we're gonna switch it up. This one I've seen a couple of times is by Govi, and it's this LED neon rope light. And you can bend it and shape it into like cool shapes like this guitar, that'd be fun. But you can also just use it as like a strip light, I think. I've heard really good things about Govi in general. Um, I've actually been, so this is <laughs> this is a thing. Ask Chris about it, it's, it's a legit thing for me. I hate overhead lights. Anytime anyone, you know who you should ask actually? It's really, it's Lo that hates it the most. Anytime you walk into the kitchen or anywhere in the house that I am currently, there's like no lights on, like maybe one. And then everyone turns on the big overhead lights and I'm like, ah! Like a vampire. I really like the ambient lights, the soft, the, the lamps, the strip lights, the back lights, like that kind of stuff. I like it glowy and soft and calm. So I've been meaning to invest in some things like this. So this felt like a perfect opportunity. Now, obviously, obviously, we are gonna test out how bendy it is. I don't know if I trust myself to make a guitar, but I could, I could make something. My journey begins now. So there's that. <laughs> My journey begins with, do you need help? How did you know, Govi? I usually do. Okay. It is definitely bendable. It doesn't hold its shape, which I guess thinking about it, that probably makes sense. I was thinking I could form it into a shape and it would like stay bent like that. Like it had like wire in it, you know, but it doesn't do that, so. There's my heart. <laughs> Let's plug it in. I wanna see what it looks like. I wanna see how pretty it is. And I want to, um, I'm gonna show you where I wanna put one. So genuinely I'm excited because it's the colliding of all worlds. I want to put them on either side of our fireplace. I feel like that would be really pretty. Fingers crossed. Want it to look elegant and calming and beautiful. I don't want it to be like a crazy light show. <laughs> Can you imagine at 16, just like decking out your room in this? Oh my gosh. Okay, Let's plug it in. <gasps> Woo! Coming red. Okay, ta-da, red. Yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, light blue, pinky purple, white, golden white. That's the money right there. So you can add it in to like whatever entertainment system that you use and it'll like change the, the light colors and stuff to the beat of the music or to the vibe of the movie. That's fun. I don't personally have like a sound system. What is that, what is that thing called? Like a mo movie room, a theater, that's the word. I don't have my own theater in my house, but if you did, this could this could be cool. So let's go over and see if this like, this will actually work or not in in the way that I want it to work. Cuz that's the that's going to be the trick. I don't know. Okay, where is my tape? I'm just going to I'm going to test it first before I like do a full install, you know? Tape. And I think you're so far away. I'm so sorry. Can you even see me? I can't even tell. Is that better? I I don't know. So I think Correct me if I'm wrong, anyone who's good at lighting, but I think I want the lighting facing that way, not this way, right? And I think because it's white and my my walls are white, they're not white, but you get it. I think it'll work. She said with confidence, not actually knowing. The faith I have in masking tape is bar none. I just need to know if I like it, that's all. You know when you hear the tape and it's like, just need you to hold for like, 30 seconds, don't wanna mess with it too much so that it doesn't all come crashing down on me. Question is, again, I know this is masking tape. It's not a perfect system right now, okay. Is that going to look good? This is my question. Is it going Is it going to look cheap? I'm gonna put it on both sides, That that is for sure. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I also don't know if I can adjust things. Oh no, I don't want that. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want any of that. That's what I want. I think it has like an app too. Maybe I'll download the app and I will see if I can like adjust and like play around with the tone of it or something. I don't know. Cause I, I need all the lights to match. Like they have to be the same, um, Kelvins. Is that the right Kelvins? They need to all match is what I need at the end of the day. Um, 
Let me know your thoughts. It could look really good or it could look super cheap and I can't tell which direction it's going. All right, next up, back to the kitchen. This pot set, hear me out. This pot set has been everywhere and everyone is always just like blown away with the quality of this. And um, so I bought one of them. I've seen a lot of people cooking with these. It looks really cool with the handles and whatever. It's called, um, how do they pronounce it? Car carrot. 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 Carotti. <laughs> Carotti. So I got one of the sets and we will see. Assume you're a lid. Okay, hold on. Let's put this down here and we're gonna un unpackage it. Oh my gosh, it's still going. That all fit in that small box. Okay, and then the handles. This is what I'm the most curious about. And it is my understanding that this is gonna be a really good system if you have minimal kitchen space to work with. So it's all packs up really nicely, which is why the handles come separately and then you can just use the pieces that you need and then you're not trying to like slot away a hundred different frying pans and pots and all that kind of stuff like that take up a ton of space. It'll, everything will just kind of like fit together, I guess, like this. And then this just like, so I wanna use this guy. How do you work? Oh, there we go, all right. How grippy are we? Pretty grippy. And then just go like that, take it off, and then boom, onto another one. Comes with two, two different ones. I mean, that's kind of nice. Non-stick cookware. You can use it for induction, ceramic, gas, halogen. I don't even know what that is. CFOA free, die cast. Then we have a lid for some of the smaller ones. So you can see it has like a little cutout here. This is all like silicone. And it has a steam vent thing here, although I, this is, I was gonna do it for you, babe. No, also it comes with another one of these. These things, in case you're wondering, you're like, that's missing something. I like the fact that it's silicone, so it sits on it, it's not like clank down, which is kind of nice. The handles themselves feel good. I'm genuinely curious what Christopher thinks of this. Hang on, I need to get him. Christopher, this is a pot set that has these handles that come off and can be utilized, so it's good for like smaller kitchen spaces yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Nesting, um, sort nesting. Of, yeah. 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 I wanted to get your thoughts on it. So it has, like, I like the silicone. I mean, it's a neat idea. It comes with two of these handles. Right. I guess the thing is, is if you have um, multiple ones of these going at the same time, so you have veggie, you have rice, and you have chicken going, then you're taking this off to like move it over, I guess, to like stir it or like move it around or anything, and then you have to go. Yeah, like, like maybe, but also, you know, if you've got, well, you know, oven mitt or pot holder or a towel or something. I mean, you can just kinda, you know, this needs to move over to the sink or whatever. You know, sure. not the end of the world. Like obviously it's going to work. Like we know that putting this on the stove, yeah. it's it's going to work. I don't know how the longevity of it because over time. about the springs, you know? Oh, interesting. Like how long they would stay tight like that. I don't have any reason to believe they wouldn't. I just sort of, the more moving parts something has, the more things that can fail. But like the thing, I mean, this is just not a product that I would expect to like, but I think it's clever. It's worse than having fixed handles because obvious reasons, but what this is solving is an issue of space and storage. And if that is something that a small kitchen or shared kitchen or whatever the case is, that solves the problem and I don't see a lot of big downsides to it. So I, I really think this is clever. That's just good engineering. I, that's just smart. I like it. I, the I candle is very comfortable too. Well, it really is and it's sturdy. Like this, this I pick it up and it feels fixed. And I really would not have guessed that. Yeah. It just feels like part of it. Honestly, I thought you would come out here and be like just this doesn't, I can't imagine this working and this, this, and this. this I am exactly surprised. exactly the kind of product that I would hate. Yeah. And yet. And yet you love it. You did a good job. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, okay. it's clever. Well. I appreciate good engineering. There you go. And then while I attempt to put this into a pile so I can wash it, the other product I've been seeing a lot of and something that, again, was something that I was interested in getting anyway is air purifiers. And this one in particular just kept showing up over and over and people were just saying how amazing it was. It's Le, Levoit, Levoit air purifier. So I bought the small one and it has tons of really good rating and reviews and everyone's just raving about this thing. And so I unboxed it. This is what the filter looks like before. Get a good look at it to see if it's gonna look any different, I don't know. 
I mean, it seems pretty straightforward. I feel like I don't even need to look through this. Remove the plastic, yeah, connect it. Allow air to circulate, I mean, yeah. All right, well, that's that's it, everyone. I'm gonna put this on in uh, my son's room because I think that's like the right size for it. And um, we'll see what it picks up. Okay, update on the purifier. So it's been going in Luke's room for a while now, week and a half, maybe a week. And it's just been like running straight. I haven't been doing anything. I had it on level two for the most part. And then recently I upped it to three just to kind of see, I don't know. So I wanna take a look at the filter and see what it looks like. This by the way is what it sounds like at level three in terms of like loudness. Kind of almost white noisy. So it's actually kind of nice. Let's see if we can see anything here. Honestly, I'm kind of curious what this looked like before. It looks about this, oh, you know what? Actually, you can see a bunch of stuff being picked up on there like fluffs almost. Oh, especially over here. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a lot of fluffy gray stuff. Fun. And again, this has only been for, for like a week, week and a half. So I'm gonna keep it going and I'm gonna put it in Julia's room now and just see in a week, see what it looks like. And then obviously you're supposed to clean this. You just kind of like wipe off the filter. Um, they do also sell other filters, but it's like really easy to put together. Like she said, then making it difficult for herself. Look, that's it. It's a really nice machine. So far, so good. Now, obviously I did just put this in Julia's room, so I don't have an update yet. So far, I really like it. I like how easy it was. I like that it's going to let me know when it's like clogged up with gunk. I can see it picking up stuff, but I'll give you the update on Julia's room. All right, I took the filter out of Julia's room, which it's of course not focusing on. So I don't know if you can see, but there's like a ton of stuff now in here that it seems to be picking up, which is pretty cool. And the only way I really knew was because I accidentally leaned this against my black sweatsuit. So now I have it all over me. So that's awesome. I feel like it's working really well. It's picked up a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna continue to use it. I like it. Again, update on the pots. So in using them overall, really good. One thing, number one, they're beige and they like, immediately stained. You cook with any sort of colorful spices, they're done, absolutely done. Other than that, they've held up really well. Chris actually noted he was like poaching some carrots and he could use the little cutout on the lid where the handle goes and use that to like drain out any water, which I thought was really cool. I'm curious about the springs on the handles as well as the like, longevity of the actual pots themselves. And I wish they came in different colors. I only saw beige, but maybe I'm wrong. But they are working quite well, I'm impressed. Let me know in the comments what product we need to try next. If you've seen anything on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube that we need to try, let me know and we can buy it and test it out together. Because inquiring minds need to know what's actually worth spending money on. Check out these videos on the side in case you have not been caught up yet and subscribe. New videos here every single Thursday. Not Thursday, that's my other channel. Which by the way, that has a million and a half subscribers almost. And I think personally, we can beat that. All she tests is makeup and clothes. We do all the hard work here. We are testing recipes. We are testing kitchen stuff. So I just think it'd be really entertaining if we cut up or blew past Rage Loves. We do some fun contests at all the little like different milestones and stuff. This would be really, this would be really fun. And so if you're on the fence about subscribing, I recommend, I will put some videos here that are personally some of my favorites. And if you've been here a long time, I'm gonna say one word, floor cake. That's a great video. It was great at the time, not so much, but I mean, it, it, it was entertaining. Thank you so much as always for watching. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you guys all in the next one.